notified and told to pass the word on to parents. Nasser was arraigned and sent to the Oneida County Jail on $10,000 bail. There could be more charges coming. Tonight, neighbors in Cortland County are concerned after learning 9 million gallons of cow manure could wind up within walking distance of their homes. They're worried about what this may mean for their community, not far from Foster Moore Road in Homer. That's where our Jim Kenyon picks up this exclusive story tonight. Steve Triolo and Frank DeAngelis are neighbors who built their homes in a picturesque area in the Cortland County town of Homer. They were surprised recently when construction equipment showed up in the farm field across Foster Moore Road and began excavating a huge pit. No prior knowledge whatsoever. Triolo and DeAngelis did some digging of their own and found that the pit across the road was to become a lagoon to hold up to 9 million gallons of cow manure that would be shipped here from New Hope View Farm, a large dairy operation about eight miles away. Well, my first reaction was is that uh, not to get too upset because I would have thought that the local town, state ordinances would take care of this. But DeAngelis and Triolo were shocked to find that no one in the town of Homer nor anyone in the Cortland County Planning Board were aware of a manure lagoon of this magnitude. I think it's insane. I think people, you know, everybody assumes that, you know, the town and the county are going to be aware of something like this. Now they and other neighbors are raising concerns about the impact a large manure lagoon would have on their lifestyle. I'm concerned about uh, health issues, our wells, uh, the roads, uh, property values. It's 300 feet from my property line and uh, the odors uh, diminish property values if and when I ever go to sell. Neighbors say what's really an issue here is something called the Right to Farm Act, which they say strips local municipalities of the ability to regulate such projects. Then we pump manure every day. Bill Head owns New Hope View Farms. He's proud of his family-owned operation called a CAFO, which is short for Concentrated Animal Feeding Operation. His family and 20 employees manage about 2,000 animals. Under the Right to Farm Act, Head can secure state and federal permits to build large manure management systems without notifying neighbors or local governments. I do care about my neighbors, and I do care about what they think. Um, however, I did nothing wrong in that there are no rules, there are no regulations, town, county, state, federal, that I have to give notice. Having said that, if hindsight is 2020, maybe um, there was a way that I should have let them know. I, I wouldn't want it in, in this area. At it nearby didn't... Cortland State University, David Miller teaches geography. Okay. He's also on the Cortland County Planning Board. Miller feels that the planning board should have been made aware of the manure lagoon so that they could review the site plan, traffic impacts, noise, and a spill response plan. We don't have a problem with, with, with sort of uh, uh, agricultural activity at sort of normal scale. This is, this is supersized. Some neighbors feel these so-called supersized farming operations, or CAFOs, should be exempt from the Right to Farm Act, which they say is intended to protect smaller family farms. This is not normal farming uh, practices. This is industrial waste as far as I'm concerned. If you um, allow someone to say, I don't want that there, or I don't want that there, or I don't want that there, once you start down that road, you will not have agriculture as we know it in New York State. Reporting from the town of Homer in Cortland County, I'm Jim Kenyon. Yeah. Stinky situation. It, it is, but <laughs> fascinating to hear more about the farm. And most of us aren't farmers, so seeing what they're actually dealing with is really yeah. remarkable. Yeah. Well, neighbors are actually concerned about odors, of course, and the impact on health and the environment. And new at 6 o'clock tonight, Jim will show us the farmer's plan to deal with some of those concerns his neighbors have. When alert to parents tonight, purchasing toys in your children's wish list this holiday season, three popular toys may pose some dangerous risks. The State Division...